I'm Gina. When Jane first started talking about the trip to Zambia, I had a visceral reaction. It wasn't a decision to be there, it was an innate knowing that I had to be there. Canoeing down the Zambezi River for four days, sleeping in tents on islands in between Zambia on one side, Zimbabwe on the other. The wildlife that we would encounter, it sounded such a fascinating adventure and I knew I had to be there. What I didn't anticipate was what followed. We were raising money for Conservation Lower Zambezi. Now Conservation Lower Zambezi, they educate kids on animal conservation, sustainability and human wildlife conflict, as well as many other things. We visited Conservation Lower Zambezi and they, they taught us so much, so much that it really blew my mind. When we were on the islands and when we were on the canoeing adventure, we had free guides and they were educating us too on animals, the natural environment around us, but also human wildlife conflict. Now as part of the trip, I've realized that I have clarity on something. I've had a huge passion for plastic pollution and plastic in the ocean for quite some time. But now I realise that my work is much bigger than that. I realise it's to do with human wildlife conflict. So I've had a huge revelation as part of this trip and it's, it's fascinating to see it unfold now. I also had a huge personal development journey as part of this. I've learned so much about myself, so much about how I interact with others. If you're thinking about doing a trip like this and you don't know why, but you have that pull, please, please follow it. People say that the trip was life-changing and I don't use those words lightly, but I can tell you it significantly has been life-changing for me. If you're interested, speak to Jane. She'll tell you all the details. And I hope to see you on the next trip. Little, little one there. And look at these two. Uh, look, he's nearly holding on to his tail.